Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing the cloud technique a little bit more with resin. So let's jump in and get started. I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera. Today I'm using Unicone Art Resin off Amazon. I'll link it down below. And I'm just filling up my little cabochons inside this mold here with clear resin. And I did reserve a tiny bit, I would say about three quarters of an ounce of clear resin right here in this cup. And I'm adding 30 drops of Pinata Blanco Blanco to this. And we're going to mix that up and set it aside. We're going to be using this in a few minutes. And um, you want to make sure you shake that bottle of Blanco Blanco before you go in and drop it into your resin. You want to make sure you shake that bottle up really well. And now we're going to go in and drop our inks. I'm using uh, alcohol inks from Dryer Days Art Studio in Prussian Blue, Vivid Pink, and Vivid Purple. And I'm just doing two or three drops of ink in each of my little um, pendants here. I'm not adding much ink at all, only a few drops in each of the little um, cabochons. And then we're going to go in and add that white that we just mixed up. And I'm all done adding my inks. So now we're gonna go in with that white. And I like to use paper cups for this because you can pinch it and get a really nice controlled pour. And I like to do it this way. It is kind of messy, but I just kind of swirl over the entire mold. Um, as the resin sits, it'll kind of turn into little beads and you can take a piece of tape and just pick it right off the next day when the resin's dry. So we're going to let this sit for one hour. Here we are one hour later. I'm just working on the surface of the resin. I took a little craft stick and broke it in half. I'm not pushing down to the bottom of my mold. If you do that and you're using something sharp like this, you'll damage your mold. I'm just working on the surface of my resin and I'm doing little swirls. And that's going to be it. After I'm done doing my swirls, I'm going to um, basically just cover them up, let them dry for 24 hours, and here we are ready to demold them. They turned out really pretty. I love this one. That Prussian blue is so pretty with the vivid pink. And this technique is so much fun. I hope you guys give it a try. I have found that this works best with um, Unicone Art Resin or Gen Crafts Epoxy Resin. And this one here, I, it's like a little heart on the bottom. Here, I'll turn it and you can see it a little bit better. See the heart right there? Just love this one so much. This one turned out really fun too. I did all blue. Kind of reminds me of a fun wave inside there. So these, um, this mold, uh, I actually got it off of BB Crafts website. I'll link it down below. And um, you can get jewelry hardware along with it so um i forget what they're called but they're little basically um pendant trays that's the name i was looking for and they come in different shapes heart oval round square so you would just take a little bit of like e6000 glue put it on the back of your cabochon here put that in the tray let it dry and then um, it has you know all the hardware on it so you just attach a chain and you have a necklace or you could turn it into earrings as well some of these are a little bit big for earrings but something small like this round one here would work good for earrings too i'll be sure to link all the materials i'm using down below in the description box um, along with any coupon codes that I have if you guys want to get any of these products to try um, But if you're having a hard time with this technique um, Definitely just try using the Blanco Blanco about 30 drops of that in three quarters of an ounce of clear resin and um, Depending on what resin you're using for me the Unicone art resin and the Gen Crafts epoxy resin work really well for this um they're not, I would say they're in between a low and a medium viscosity resin. So um, I would definitely try that if you can. You can get them both off Amazon. Um, they're really, really awesome because they don't have a lot of bubbles, which is nice. Um, both of them are pretty much the same viscosity. And I've used them on my channel before for this technique. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to go check it out. I'll link it down below in the description box. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and um, go check out a few more of my other videos. That'll really help out my channel a lot. Helps me out if you watch a few of my videos back to back. I'll leave a few of my favorites at the end card screen right here. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video and you can go check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye guys.